and you can confess your sin and come out of that drunkenness and say, God, I want to be holy. I want to go into your holy heaven. And you can believe in Jesus, get right with God, come out the darkness of your sinful life and get right with God. Yet if you don't come to Jesus, ma'am, you're going to go to hell. That's what's going to happen to you. Yet if you're out here getting drunk, ma'am, you're not right with God. I'm just, I, I'm just saying that. I see your friends are drinking. But I'm going to warn you that no drunkard is going to enter into God's kingdom. That's what the Bible says. Well, ma'am, I'm going to warn you. I'm a preacher. So you're not promised to make it out of this city tonight, ma'am. You can die tonight. And if you die in your sin, you're going to open your eyes up in hell. And God's trying to wake you up right now. God's trying to wake you up. You are hanging out with the drunkards. You are hanging out with the hypocrites, ma'am. You claiming to act like you presume to believe in Jesus, but ma'am, you are in sin and you are in deception. Repent and get right with God. Turn to Jesus and come to God. Humble yourself and repent. Sir, put down the Coors Light. Stop being a hypocrite and acting like you believe in Jesus, sir. Because you don't believe in the Jesus of the Bible. You might have a Jesus that you made up in your own mind that allows you to live in the darkness of sin. And that's what people do. They make up a Jesus that allows them to live in debauchery. People believe in a Jesus that allows them to live in sexual sin. They go off having a blasphemous filthy mouth and they say they believe in Jesus and guys I'm here to tell you that you are in deception you need to come to God get your heart right with God because God is not playing games you're going to go to a devil's hell if you keep going on in the darkness of your sinful life you're going to be denied into God's holy heaven you're going to go to a devil's hell the message that Jesus preached was repent or you're going to perish. That's what Jesus said. Jesus warned us in his word that if you don't repent, if you don't come to him and believe in the heart, you're going to go to hell. And while you hear the preaching of God's word, folks, you can repent. But if you keep going on, guys, being mockers, you're going to go to a mocker's hell. That's where mockers go. And the Bible says that in the last days, that mockers will come. And they will mock the Bible. They will mock the salvation message of Jesus Christ. They will be full of demons. They will be blasphemous. They will be God-haters. The Bible says they will be proud and self-willed. They will be drunkards. They will be living in debauchery. Perilous times in the last days. And this is where we are at, folks. We are in the last days. And judgment is coming. Judgment is coming to the United States of America. And God is trying to get the attention of the American people. He's saying repent because we're in the end times. He's saying repent and come to God. Turn to Jesus and humble yourself. For God is going to judge your life, folks. And it's going to be a fearful thing to go to hell. The Bible says that hell is an eternal judgment. And if you deny the salvation of Jesus and you keep living ungodly and unholy, I am here to warn you that if you die like that, you're going to go to hell. Yet the good news is, you don't have to go to hell. You can come out of that sin. You can confess your sin. You can say, God, I want to get right with you. You can say that today, sir. You can come to Jesus, put down that alcohol. And you can humble yourself, pick up a Bible, sir, and come to Jesus. If not, sir, I'm going to warn you, you're going to go to hell. So I'm warning you, sir, in the love of God, repent or so likewise, you're going to perish. Yet, that's what men don't want to do. The people of America, they don't want to repent. They want to keep going on in their debauchery. 
They want to keep going on, having a filthy mouth, drinking their alcohol, having their sexual sin parties. They want to keep doing their drugs and they deny Jesus Christ. Therefore, folks, I'm going to warn you that you're going to go to hell. Your only way of salvation is Jesus. For there is no other name given amongst men that we can't be saved, but it's only through Jesus, sir. For Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can come to the Father except through Jesus. Hallelujah, man. Jesus died for our sin. Yet you have to repent. You have to change your mind. You have to get right with God. You have to depart from your life of sin and come to God, sir. If not, you're going to die as a sinner and you're going to go to hell.